You're watching John's Bus Conversion, brought to you by the makers of this. This video is for entertainment only. This is not a how-to video. Anything you see me do, ought to assume it's wrong, unless told otherwise by a qualified professional. I don't know how to play the drum either, but it doesn't stop me. So I got this uh, bifold folding door, and it's <clears throat> it's kind of nice lured pine. You know, it was like sixty bucks. Uh, but the problem was it was too tall because we're in a bus, so I had to cut the top off here. You see, we just cut it off with a circular saw. And uh, then I cut off these, so, as you can see down at the bottom, these guys go here, so cut these off from the piece I cut off. I'm going to have to remount the top hinges here. Um, generally speaking, if you're going to cut a door, I've done this before, um, you generally want to cut the top off because the floor is in the same place, um, but the ceiling is low. <clears throat> and so the door handle which is going to mount here will feel it'll feel like everything's funny if you uh, cut the bottom off instead of the top so there's a tip for you if you have to do something like this okay here's the finished door well not totally finished but mostly still need to put a knob on it and there's kind of a little stop type thing Here's where I cut it up here. You can tell it's a little bit. See, there's kind of a looks like a missing slat there. I could fix that, but you know, I don't think I'm going to bother. And uh, need a knob on it still. And then here's where I screwed these guys in. The original had uh, had uh, wooden dowels through there, so you couldn't really see it, but. Um, I chose to do it that way. And what else? Uh, I really like these metal 2x4s. I love these things. I've never worked with them before. They're really easy. Um, so you can see I used one track um, to follow the pattern. Then I ran a straight one across like this for the header, the door header. This is just a regular 2x4, which fits very snugly in there. Then I came in on the side and screwed it in here and then I attached the header of my door frame which I made to that. Originally I was going to um, cut it. You can see I started doing this here where I cut a 2x4 to match the contour of the ceiling and hang on let me uh, I'm going to show you how I did that. What I did was this back here's the back wall here I marked the center line here and that's the center line of the bus um, and I put heavy construction paper up there and I took a compass and traced the line. Here, this pencil just fell out. I traced the line, and here's the piece I made. Let's see. Piece of paper that matches the contour of the ceiling. And then um, I can put this along a piece of plywood. You know, um, I did it for this tongue and groove to cut this stuff. Um, I did it to cut that. 2x4 in there. Um, there are several ways to do this. There's a book. If you're doing a bus conversion, you might want to get this book. I don't remember the name, but if you Google bus conversion book, I'm sure it's the first one that will come up. And it's um, it doesn't have everything in there, but it's, I don't know, I, I liked it. And the way he suggests doing it is uh, you basically build a rectangle. You build a rectangle structure across the middle of the bus, and then you um, mark the dimensions and kind of make a graph and the advantage of doing it that way would be the thing I found was that these walls are not square <laughs> they're not plumb um, I discovered the hard way framing this thing in it's a little bit uh, it comes in a little bit from the floor to up here it comes in like about an inch to the window 
And so normally I wouldn't, I'm not going to care if I'm just framing this wall here, I don't care about that. But if I'm doing something like the shower, it did matter. Now if this was, uh, you probably, I'm not sure if it shows up, it probably doesn't, but the edge of this thing is not perfect. Um, and if I was going to be doing finish, see none of this is going to be finished. There's going to be a ceiling here. This back here is going to get backer board and tile, and then on this side, um, the ceiling is going to hide any mistakes that I made. But if it was going to be finished, I would have taken a little more time. I probably would have taken, I gotten a piece of plastic or something and cut it to this shape um, and used that and then got something where I could sand it down because the edges here, as I cut it with scissors, you know, I didn't get it perfect. If you want it like really good, you could get to the point where you're sanding it, fitting it up. I cut my finger. There's blood all over the floor. Man, I just uh, don't do what I did. I was uh, screwing in a screw and with the drill and I just pushed down really hard and it slipped and nailed me. Stuck a big hole right in my finger. Really hurt. 